following his impressive TKO victory over Vicente Luque at UFC Atlantic City, Joaquin Buckley has undoubtedly elevated his stock in the welterweight division. With his third consecutive win inside the octagon, Buckley is now in a prime position to face another top contender in his next outing. One intriguing option for Buckley could be a matchup against the winner of an upcoming welterweight bout between Neil Magny and Jeff Neal. Both Magny and Neal are established veterans in the division and a victory over either of them would further solidify Buckley's status as a rising star in the UFC welterweight ranks. Alternatively, a showdown with the winner of the highly anticipated bout between Kamzat Chimaev and Robert Whittaker could also make for an exciting matchup. Chimaev and Whittaker are both highly skilled fighters with significant fan followings, and a victory over either of them would undoubtedly propel Buckley closer to title contention. Regardless of his next opponent, Joaquin Buckley's TKO victory over Vicente Luque has undoubtedly put him on the radar of the UFC welterweight division, and fight fans can look forward to seeing the exciting prospect continue to make waves in the octagon. Manon Fioro's performance in the main event of UFC Fight Night in Atlantic City against Aaron Blanchfield was nothing short of dominant. Despite Blanchfield's early attempt with a guillotine choke in the opening round, Fioro showcased her superior striking skills and utilized her reach advantage effectively throughout the fight. Blanchfield struggled to close the distance and land significant strikes due to Fioro's precise movement and counterattacks. Fioro seemed to land clean shots at will, dictating the pace of the fight and keeping Blanchfield on the defensive. Even in the championship rounds, Blanchfield attempted to mount a comeback by swinging away, but Fioro remained composed and continued to control the fight. In the end, Fioro's dominance earned her a clear decision victory from the judges' scorecards, solidifying her position as a top contender in the division. Igor Severino's public apology and acknowledgement of his mistake following the biting incident at UFC Vegas 89 demonstrate a sense of remorse and accountability for his actions. It's clear that he deeply regrets his behavior and the consequences it has brought upon him, including his release from the UFC and the withholding of his purse by the Nevada Athletic Commission. Severino's expression of regret extends to his opponent, Andre Lima, as well as to the UFC organization, officials, and fans who witnessed the incident. He takes full responsibility for his actions and understands the severity of the punishment he has received. Furthermore, Severino's plea for a second chance and the opportunity to redeem himself in the UFC reflects his desire to continue pursuing his career as a mixed martial artist. He emphasizes the importance of fighting not only as a means of livelihood but also as a way to support his family and loved ones. While Severino's future in the UFC remains uncertain, his willingness to address the incident publicly and his hope for a chance at redemption indicate a potential path forward. It will ultimately depend on how he conducts himself moving forward and whether he can demonstrate genuine growth and rehabilitation from this regrettable incident. At the UFC Atlantic City main card, Chris Weidman faced off against Bruno Silva in an eagerly anticipated middleweight clash. Weidman, looking to end a two-fight losing streak, entered the octagon aiming for redemption after his recent setbacks. Silva, also seeking a rebound after consecutive losses, was eager to prove himself against the veteran Weidman. The fight unfolded with Weidman showcasing his skills and dominance from the outset. Displaying remarkable form, he controlled the action and seemed poised for victory as the bout progressed into the third round. However, a dramatic turn of events occurred in the final frame. Weidman appeared to land a significant combination on Silva, sending the Brazilian fighter to the canvas. Seizing the opportunity, Weidman launched a follow-up assault, prompting the referee to intervene and halt the contest. Upon closer inspection via replay, it became evident that the knockdown stemmed from two separate eye pokes delivered by Weidman. 
Despite the controversial nature of the finish, Weidman was declared the winner via TKO at 218 of round 3. While the victory may be marred by the circumstances surrounding the stoppage, Weidman emerged triumphant, signaling a return to form for the former champion. However, just after the event it was announced, that Chris Weidman's victory against Bruno Silva due to eye pokes that led to a TKO getting overturned for a unanimous decision. Despite Weidman's win, the circumstances surrounding the fight left many questioning the outcome, and got fight fans even more furious, who are calling for a no contest. The cancellation of the Victoria Dudikova vs Melissa Gatto bout due to a medical issue affecting Dudikova has undoubtedly disappointed fans who were anticipating this matchup. Dudikova, an undefeated prospect with a promising record, was expected to face off against Gatto, who has faced tough competition in the octagon. The bout was just cancelled minutes before both fighters were ready to walk out to the octagon. The lack of information regarding Dudikova's ailment leaves fans and observers speculating about the nature and severity of her condition. Given Dudikova's previous experience dealing with medical issues during fight week, particularly her revelation of a staph infection and other complications after her last appearance, there is understandable concern for her well-being. The UFC may opt to reschedule the bout between Dudikova and Gatto in the near future if Dudikova's condition allows for it, or they may decide to move on from the matchup entirely depending on the circumstances. The safety and well-being of fighters are paramount concerns in the world of mixed martial arts, and the UFC takes precautions to ensure that any potential injuries are properly addressed. Following UFC Atlantic City, it was confirmed that main event winner Manon Fioro, along with two other fighters, were transported to the local hospital for precautionary reasons. Fioro, after her grueling five-round battle with Aaron Blanchfield, underwent a precautionary CT scan of her head and face, as well as an evaluation for a possible broken forearm. The exact round in which the French fighter sustained her arm injury remains unknown. In addition to Fioro, fighters Ibo Aslan and Anton Turkalj, who engaged in a thrilling three-round war, were also transported to the hospital. Aslan, riding a five-fight win streak with a perfect finish rate, underwent a precautionary CT scan of his head and face. Meanwhile, Turkalj, despite his valiant efforts, may face uncertainty in his UFC career, having fallen to 0-4 in the promotion. It is not uncommon for UFC fighters to be transported to the hospital for precautionary evaluations, particularly after enduring grueling battles inside the octagon. While the official scan results have not yet been released, news outlets remains dedicated to providing updates on the fighters' health statuses.